welcome back to a new vlog. Time for a little intermission to talk about the fact that I am collaborating with Book of the Month for this video. I'm so excited. If you don't know Book of the Month, they are an amazing US-based subscription service for readers. And every single month, that team goes through dozens of new releases and they pick their most favorite one so you don't have to do the research you can just pick out one of their new hardcover new releases and it will be delivered right to your doorstep do keep in mind though that book of the month currently only ships to the us however the majority of you guys that are watching are from the us so many of you can enjoy my brilliant offer which is if you use the code brit you can get your first hardcover new release for only nine dollars and 99 cents so let's take a book book let's take a look at the five books that the book of the month team chose for april the first one is called the good left undone written by adriana trigiani oh the beautiful name adriana trigiani this is an historical fiction book and it says like a hug from your favorite aunt this moving and wise world war ii epic will remind you what life's all about familia familia like in italian then we have one with such an amazing cover and i hope i'm pronouncing this right kaiki I think written by Vaishnavi Patel. This is a fantasy book and it says, why should boys have all the fun? Exactly. In this epic tale that pulls heartstrings, Kaiki fights for her place in history. Next, we have a narrative nonfiction book called Bittersweet, written by Susan Cain. Ever cry doing a commercial or listen to Joni Mitchell curled up on the floor? This insightful book is for you. Then we have a mystery called Like a Sister, written by Kelly Garrett. Sometimes a sibling just knows. When her estranged sister dies under weird circumstances, Lena Scott gets on the case. And lastly, we've got a literary fiction one called True Bids. I love the cover. This one is written by Sarah Novik. Or Novich. Or Novik. What's realer than real? This witty and life-affirming novel gives us the true biz about a school for the deaf. This sounds super unique. I've never read a book that is about deaf people, especially not a school for the deaf. Oh my god, all of these books sound so amazing. So if you would like to get any of these five books, don't forget to check out the link in my description and use the code BRIT to get your first book for $9.99. And also if you want to get a book of the month book, but the next month you may not be as interested in the books that they're offering, you can just skip a month, no worries, you will not be charged and you can just start up whenever you want again. So definitely check out the link in my description and let's continue with the video. So in this vlog, I'm going to do another kind of challenge because I want to finish as many books as I'm currently reading since I'm reading quite Quite a few and I just feel like starting new books because yesterday I already decided to start a new book even though I'm still reading a couple of books however let's see if I can finish a couple of books this week because there are a few that I've been reading for a long time one of them is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov I've been reading this one for a couple of weeks now mainly because it's not really my type of book even though i'm still intrigued by where the story is going to go and how it's going to end so i will finish it like i want to finish it and this is a very very famous one i'm pretty sure you all know what it's about it's about a very grown-up man being in love with a 12 year old girl called lolita it is disgusting makes you feel very uncomfortable but you're still intrigued how this is going to end like how will this ever be all right and I hope there will be a happy ending. So I am halfway through this book right now. I'm about to start part two of the book. And yeah, we'll see. I wanted to start this vlog yesterday because one of the books that I was still reading is Rilke's Letters to a Young Poet. However, yesterday evening, I actually finished this book. So this is a very, very short book. I'm still like, I still want to read the afterword, but I've officially finished it. But I do uh, just want to read the afterword to kind of learn a bit more. This one was a brilliant little book all about letters that Rilke wrote to a young officer cadet. They kind of have this correspondence but you read the letters that Rilke wrote to him and they're full of like life lessons. I have never underlined this much in a book before hence why my bookmark was a pencil. I really want to reread this and just take it all in again because I thought it was brilliant and I'm so glad I picked this one up because I just didn't really know much about real car, but it was amazing. So, so, so good. And I can totally understand why so many people just love this little book. It wasn't even officially planned to be a book. They're just letters that, you know, after he passed away, I believe, they found these letters and they decided to combine it into this little collection. This smoothie is amazing. 
So I finished this one yesterday evening before I went to bed. Then the next book I'm reading is Einstein's Wall, written by Matthew Stanley. This is a non-fiction book all about when Einstein was creating his theory of relativity and how it happened just before and during the First World War and how the world wasn't really waiting for this theory. They weren't really interested. But then we have Arthur Eddington, another scientist, who wanted to help Einstein get his theory out there because he saw the importance of the theory of relativity. It is currently very much about the First World War. I didn't expect it to be this much about actually like the war. I thought it was more going to be about Einstein being at war, which is the world, because the world didn't really want to know about the theory of relativity. However, it is super interesting. I am on page 105. It only has like 300 something pages because this much is all just, you know, notes and um, references. So I hope that I'll be able to read a chunk and hopefully finish it this week. But then the next book that I didn't really plan to start actually, but I decided to do it anyways, is My Dog Vanessa, written by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I actually got this one a couple of days ago when I went book shopping with Leonie and Michelle, um, some of my booktube friends, and I just felt like starting it because so many people had recommended it to me. This is basically about a girl named Vanessa, and when she was 15 years old, she first had sex with her teacher. And then it says, um, now, his te now that teacher has been accused of sexual abuse by another former student and a journalist has asked Vanessa to contribute to a story about him. However, Vanessa and Strain, the teacher, what they had wasn't abuse, it was actually love. So this is all about this teacher and student relationship. But what I decided to do is read it on my Kindle and oh my goodness, I forgot how amazing an e-reader is. It is so much easier to read on this thing because when I'm in my bed, I can just literally put it like this on my bed and I can just lie on my pillow and I don't even have to hold it. I can just press once to go to the next page. You don't need a light. You don't need to sit up straight. You don't need to fold the pages. It is actually so brilliant. So I'm already 10% through this book and I just started it yesterday, which is so great. I even read a bit this morning and normally I never really feel like reading in the morning just when I get up or like when I wake up because it just takes like a lot of effort to grab a book and like hold it <laughs> and sit comfortably. But now with this, I can just lie down, which is amazing. So maybe, I will be able to read quite a chunk for my dog Vanessa this week because it's just so easy to read on a Kindle. So let's see if I'm able to finish hopefully like one or two of these books this week. And I think I will because I'm very much back in the reading mood and I'm very happy with that. I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. I'm going to have another sip of my smoothie. I'm going to be doing some work now and I'll see if I can take a couple of breaks in between. I'm definitely going on a walk because the weather is phenomenal. I'm wearing a very florally <laughs> pants today. So I'm going on a walk and probably take my Kindle with me because it's just the easiest thing to like read on the go. So I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. Definitely give it a thumbs up and let's do some work. I had the best walk, oh my goodness, the weather is just amazing. I, I could just sit outside without my jacket on, so this is perfect. I also read a little bit from my doc, Vanessa, and now I'm going to be prepping some lunch because I feel like making a lovely chickpea salad, so I'm going to be roasting some chickpeas in the oven with just lots of herbs on there and some oil, and basically just put all the veggies that I still have left into the salad. So let's make a healthy lunch.
Okay, quick update because my washing machine is on and it's an annoying noise. But yesterday during my Patreon reading sprints, I read like 40 pages of Einstein's Wall. So I am about well, nearly halfway through the book. I'm actually way more into just reading more about the First World War as well. And it doesn't bother me that much anymore that it isn't sometimes that much about the scientists. Still super interesting. So this morning, it's like 11, 11 right now. 11, 11, make a wish. This morning I did work. I'm going to be doing a little bit more work today, but then this afternoon around one, something like that, I'm going to visit my friend Leora from Books with Leo because she has a lovely balcony. So we're going to be sitting outside in the sun this entire afternoon because the weather is just amazing and we want to enjoy it to the fullest. It is just, oh, spring is making me very happy. So I will try and film a few fun clips there. Maybe I'll get some reading done. I will bring a book with me, but I don't know if I'll be actually reading. It's not, oh my God. It's Friday morning already. Yesterday I had such a lovely time at Leora's place. In the end, I didn't read anything because we were just chatting. But when I got back home, I read about 10% more of um, my dog Vanessa. So I'm like 20% of the way through the book right now. And today the weather is just so amazing again. So I just made sure that I finished up as much work as possible. So I'm gonna go to the park right now and just sit there, have a little solo park date. I'm going to bring just some water and some snacks and just read that for like a couple of hours and just like enjoy the sun because next week it's going to be like quite cold again. So I'm just, oh, I want to enjoy the sun as much as possible. So let's go to the park and let's have a cozy couple of hours. I had such a lovely two hours at the park. I am 26% of the way through my dog Vanessa. It is getting quite uncomfortable. However, I decided to go home because the new season of Bridgerton is on. So I want to binge it this weekend. Ah, I can't believe it's season two. I'm so excited. Let me know in the comments if you like Bridgerton and who's your favorite character. My favorite character is Benedict and Eloise but probably Benedict. I'm excited. It is Saturday morning. Yesterday evening, I went to like a very big party, like properly going out after two and a half years, which felt very strange, but it was definitely fun to just have a fun dance together with my friends. And today I'm actually going to a really cool art installation here in Rotterdam to get with my parents. We're going to have lunch first. And then after that, I'm going over to their house to sleep there. But I've already watched five episodes of Bridgerton. Just three more. I'm not ready. I don't want it to end. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to watch those first before continuing with my books. I'll be bringing two books with me to my parents. So we'll see if I'll read anything, but I will keep you updated. Um, so yeah, let's have an exciting weekend. It's going to be a very cozy one. And tomorrow I'm also going to have lunch with some friends. So I'm excited. I will try and film a few clips this weekend, but I'm not bringing my camera with me to my parents just to like take a little break from vlogging, but I will keep you updated on my reading.
Okay, so it is actually days and days later. I haven't really updated you guys on my reading, mainly because I haven't really done much reading, to be honest. And yesterday, I got some amazing news. <laughs> Will it focus? I've got freaking COVID for the third, third time. How is this possible? <laughs> got it in October of 2020. Then I got asymptomatic COVID in March of 2021. And now a year later, I've got it again. But I know how, because last Friday I went out to a very big club and there was no testing anymore because those restrictions were lifted. So I am positive that I got it there. It is my second day of symptoms right now. Luckily my symptoms are very, very just, I've just got a bit of a headache and sometimes a bit of a runny nose, but not too bad like at all. So I hope it just stays this way. Um, and I just did my makeup and everything. I like got dressed so I can still film this video because I'm feeling just pretty good. It just sucks because I had so many fun things planned this weekend and now everything is canceled. Some updates on my reading because I am like 70% of the way through my dog Vanessa. I haven't read anything more from Einstein's dreams. I haven't read anything more from Lolita, but I did start another new book because <laughs> why not? Oh my goodness, this challenge is failing. Like I'm failing this challenge completely. But I started The Paris Apartment by, I believe, Lucy Foley. I'm listening to it on audiobook. Let me see how far I'm into it. 43% of the way through. The Paris Apartment is like a thriller that takes place in Paris in this apartment. And then his sister is going to visit her brother, but then her brother is suddenly gone. Um, so she's trying to find out, you know, what is happening. Normally I don't really read that much thrillers. They're not really my cup of tea. However, I'm really enjoying this one so far. So I'm just listening to it on audiobook. I will probably read a bit or like listen a bit more today because I just plan on basically cleaning my entire apartment and doing some editing of this vlog because I can't go anywhere. <laughs> this is just such a joke. I'll just be maybe filming a bit more during my isolation. But for now, I'm just going to try to do some things today and just clean and read. Also, let me show you some new products that are coming to my shop soon. No, like I would advise you to follow me on my Instagram because I post more about it there. However, I will be posting when my next shop update is. I think by the time this video is live, it's not out yet. However, I've got a few new products that are coming to my shop soon. First of all, this sunflower keychain that I've ordered months ago and it arrived and I'm so happy. So this is a very fun sunflower keychain. Then I also decided to like redraw an old drawing of mine that I didn't really like anymore, just the drawing style, but I decided to upgrade this drawing of like the peace hand with the sunflower and I made it into a postcard as well as this cool glitter sticker that you can like put on your laptop or whatever. Um, so that, then we also have a couple of sticker sheets. The first one is this one with some flower doodles and just circular little circles, which I think is very cute. And this one, which is all of the zodiac signs with some like a little illustration as well. I'm very much into the zodiac signs for this shop update, as well as this sticker sheet, kind of very simple and I'll be doing this one in purple, blue, and like orangey. I still have to print the other ones, but this is the first one. Sorry, it just keeps getting dark and light. And then lastly, these two bookmarks that I'm very <laughs> excited about, they're very fun. So that these two zodiac sign bookmarks, so all of the zodiac signs are on here. So you can buy just one where your zodiac sign, you know, is actually on the bookmark. However, you can also get both of them. And if you do them together, they fit as like a little puzzle. So you have the entire, Zodiac sign galaxy. They're not in the right order um, because it just fit better this way, but it is like the first six and then the last six, but they're not in proper order. But that's okay because they're just on here, all of that. So yeah, these are new products that are coming to my shop very, very soon. So definitely make sure to keep an eye out. So let's just isolate. 